What's up you guys? I'm so excited to do this video today because I'm talking about a portion of my testimony and it has to do with my life as a stoner before I found Jesus. So stay tuned. Welcome to Lilac Love. On this channel, we talk all about my first love, Jesus, and how our mind, body, and spirit all work together to create perfect harmony so that we can walk out in our purpose. So if you haven't already subscribed, you should totally do that. Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, then like it and join the fam, okay? Let's do this thing. So I smoked weed since I was 16 years old. I'm 25 now. Stopped smoking weed when I was 23, and I was like the stony baloney. Like, it was definitely part of my identity. It was completely part of my identity. Like, I was a stoner chick. I looked like it, dreads. I mean, I didn't get dreads until I was 18, but um, totally fit that stereotype of a typical stoner. And it is something that, like, People still think that I do, and I'm like, nah, man, I'm high on Jesus, okay? Chill out. Chill out. No marijuana for me, okay? Get the ganja away. Get it away. <laughs> but, so, I smoked weed, and I was 23 when the Lord revealed to me, uh, basically, that I needed to stop. And um, I want to share with you kind of like my journey with that and God so when I was 16 I started smoking weed and I probably smoked weed like every single day like I'm not even kidding I probably went like maybe sometimes where I didn't but I was always smoking weed okay it was a thing to do that's what everybody did you know like it was like you couldn't have fun unless you were high like everything was funner when you were high when God revealed to me that smoking weed I don't need to do it anymore it was like okay so I had been, I wanted to be the stoner Christian. I wanted it. I wanted it to, I was so bad. I'm like, it's spiritual, man. It's so good. So I found the Lord when I was 23. And for, I want to say about five or six months after that, I was still religiously smoking. I'm like reading my Bible, worshiping, just like, Yes, I'm high, but I'm worshiping Jesus and I'm praising the Lord and I'm reading my Bible. And like, I just put those two together like, oh, it was a spiritual thing. But I never asked God, like I never really like asked him. So I was researching all of this stuff, trying to figure out like, is weed okay? Like, can you smoke weed and be a Christian? Like all this stuff. And... God was like just stirring in my heart. I wasn't really finding anything that was like proven, whatever. But I found this one website and it just completely it was talking about like um, deception and like the enemy being like deceiving you and everything. And so I was like, God, oh, God, what? So that night I went to bed and I laid down. And I said, God, I need to know the truth. I need to know the truth. When I wake up in the morning without a shadow of a doubt, I need to know, have I been deceived? Is this a lie? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I kid you not, I woke up and I just popped my eyes open and it was like God spoke out of my mouth. Like it was super weird and it was like he just spoke out of my mouth and said, you have been deceived. 
and it was so intense and so powerful and I was like oh my gosh it's kind of like like when God speaks to you like you know it's him there are times where it's like ain't nothing gonna tell you it wasn't him like you're like oh dang it you know because so, sometimes you're like asking him for things and you kind of just don't want the answer to be what it is and so that was the case like I wanted him to say no nah, Nicole like it's okay like you can totally smoke weed get high read your bible go ahead like I really wanted him to say that but when he said it I was like dang I really was like dang like I can't deny that he said that to me so I threw away my bowl it was a little elephant bowl I was really bummed about it threw away my weed you know I was really bummed about it it was like 40 50 bucks worth of bud I was bummed but I knew it was like God saying it so I was like well all right and you know, I, after I threw it away, it was just like this peace that came over me. Like I just knew like I'd been deceived by the enemy, you know, and people forget that the devil portrays himself as something good. He portrays himself as a light. And once you get into it, you realize, oh, just kidding. He's not really a light. And that's what he had done to me for years. He made him, he made weed seem like it was such a spiritual thing and so good. But it was, I turned to weed before I turned to Jesus. I put weed before Jesus. And, you know, instead of letting God heal me, I let a facade not even really heal me because it wasn't like weed was getting rid of my anxiety. It wasn't like weed was getting rid of my depression. It temporarily covered it up in the moment I wasn't high anymore all those problems came back. And so what God gave me when I stopped smoking was the clouds, I know, bear with me, and freedom. So the clouds, I know it sounds weird, but I love the clouds. Like I'm obsessed with the sky, I'm obsessed with clouds. And when I used to smoke all the time, I used to be like, oh my gosh, like nature is so beautiful. Like, hey, I got this new plant, so I made sure to get it in my view. Anyway, so I was like, yeah, nature is so much more beautiful when you're high. Yeah. Well, when I stopped smoking weed, it was like God had given me that. Like he gave me the clouds. Like I look at the clouds now and they're just so much more like beautiful. Like I just really don't know how to describe it, to be honest. But it just, I look at them and it reminds me of God's promises for my life. And it just reminds me of his goodness and his faithfulness. And he just made them look like way more cool to me. And it might just be because for the first time in my life, I was sober continuously. Um, but when I realized it, um, I just like died inside of pure happiness. I was like, oh my God, these clouds. Anyway, so I said that God gave me the clouds because... He wanted to show me like, hey, like you don't need a substance to make my creation more beautiful. It's already beautiful. I designed you so that you could see it in its fullness. And I just, I experienced that and it was great. It was great. So the second thing he gave me was freedom. Okay. So Anxiety, depression are all excuses. Stress are all excuses that people use that I use why I smoke weed. Well, I just have really bad anxiety and it helps my anxiety. Okay, I'm depressed. Okay, but the thing is, is like when I stopped smoking weed, I had significantly, significantly less anxiety than when I did smoke weed. It was like weed kind of gave me anxiety sometimes, but... It was like, um, I used these excuses on why I needed weed, but instead of turning to Jesus when I was struggling with anxiety or depression or stress, I would straight be like, I need some butt, I need some butt, I need some butt. And then it was the moment you're not high anymore, you need more and so on. It was like a never ending cycle. And so it was like, okay, so then if you like say that your dude is out and your guy has no more bud and you're stuck, you have no weed. And then you're just like freaking out. Like I need, I'm, I'm stressed out. I have anxiety. I blah, 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 all this crap. And you're just like stressed out even more because you don't have any bud and you're just looking for more weed. And now I know so many people are like, well, it's good for you. Yada, yada. Like 
the Bible calls us to stay sober minded. And I know that I used to act like, oh, I was sober when I was high. But the reality of it was is that I wasn't. Like, I wasn't. Like, I thought, like, I felt different. Things were different. And I wasn't sober. Like, I wasn't. And I would claim to be sober. But I wasn't. My whole life changed when I stopped smoking weed. And I know that it's one of those things that's kind of controversial. I know a lot of people who are Christians and who really believe in the Lord. And I believe that they believe in the Lord. And they still smoke weed. And I don't judge. I don't judge. I'm not here to condemn or anything. But for any of you guys who are watching this who do smoke weed still and are Christian, you know, everybody's walk through life is different. But really ask yourself if you've ever really taken it to the Lord. Because I would say that I took it to the Lord and would be like, yeah, God says it's fine. You know, it's made from the earth, every seed bearing plant, blah, 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 whatever. Just ask God with a complete open heart and open mind and just be like, hey, like, if you don't want me to do this, okay. You know, like, be willing to accept if he says no. Because for so long, I had kind of like acted like I asked God, but really like I never wanted him to say, no, don't smoke weed. So I wasn't really willing to accept if he told me no, but not until the moment was I willing to accept if he said no, was I able to actually hear him? Like I, cause before I never really heard him say, yeah, you can totally smoke weed, Nicole. Like I just sat at, you know, and sat at, you know, and sad it you know and I wanted to be the smoking Christian I wanted it to be okay but I finally had to say like it's not about what I want it's not about anything that I want my life is not about me it's about Christ and I found truth but oh gosh my life is so much better and I know I totally look like a stoner like I cannot tell you how many times people come up to me like where's the butter some green at you don't smoke what what and they're shocked and i'm like no man i'm how jesus like i'm good yeah so that is my little testimony um about that um i'm wearing a tie-dye shirt on purpose i did that on purpose um but i do i'm totally gonna make a video at some point about um stereotypes in christianity because when i go out in public like I look like stoner. I know I do. And it used to bother me. But to be honest, like, I love my hair. Like, I love my hair. I love how it is. I don't really care. Um, and I love tie-dye. I probably have 20 different garments with tie-dye on it. I don't care. Like, this whole, everything. I look like a stoner. I know that. But I'm not. And I'm totally going to talk about that video one day. So, so yeah, you guys. Um, I don't smoke weed anymore. Hallelujah rise of jesus and my life is fabulous so anyways i love you guys i hope that you took something from my little testimony um yeah peace out